Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp Dressed Gaming. Today we are back with Sharp Dressed VGC Pokemon VGC 2015. Now, today we are back with the Trick Room team. Uh, I have to say this team is subpar at best. It's not amazing. It's lacking some coverage, especially for against Pokemon like Suicune and Melodic. Don't have any Grass type or Electro type moves, but it works for the most part. Um, I might change up a few things. Hitmontop's okay. I prefer Hariyama, but then Wide Guard comes in handy quite a bit, so... I don't know, guys. I don't know. Steelix is bleh as Omega, and... Honestly, Malamar is the best Pokemon on this team. But let's get a battle in here. We are kind of bouncing around in the rank. Um, I did actually try recording this video already, and my microphone gave out because it's a piece of junk. And we did win both those battles, so hopefully we can continue that streak into this episode. We're going against 51, uh, 1485, let's 6v6 from New York. You're in the wrong spot there, kid, if you're trying to 6v6. But we do see um, possibly a Trick Room and Sun Mix team here. We see a Cress, a Venusaur. Cress and a Venusaur, a Gastrodon. A Charizard, I'm assuming Y. Uh, Thunderous. And Hitmontop. So he's got two of the same Pokemon we do. That being said, I think Malamar's a good lead here. And then Talonflame actually wouldn't be terrible either. Talonflame, Malamar. Would Steelix be worth it? I don't think so. It's not looking like Steelix will be good. Gastrodon will be for his own Gastrodon, but we need something... We go Aromatis, but I don't know if Trick Room will really matter here. I could go hit him on top, but everything resists him on top except for his. Uh, the only thing we can really use him on top for is like Faint, and there's nothing to intimidate except for his own him on top. I think actually Aromatis wouldn't be bad here. So we can go for a late Trick Room if we find he's using the Sun Team. Or she's using the Sun Team, sorry. But it's not going to be a priority in this match. And Malamar works pretty good outside Trick Room. It does outspeed a lot of the slower things, even though it's made to be in Trick Room. It's still fairly fast where it outspeeds things like Gastrodon. That kind of stuff. He does lead with the Sun. Uh, we can't rule out the, the Trick Room yet, though. But we are looking pretty good here. I can actually just... Rock Slide and Brave Bird. And that's what I'm going to do. He's probably going to protect the Venusaur. But he also probably doesn't know that I have Rock Slide on Malamar. So Charizard may not protect. If Charizard does protect, I'm not too concerned. Let's see what happens here, though. I'm a, I, like I said, I assume the Venusaur is protecting. Yep. And I think that means Charizard did not, because Charizard should outspeed this turn. Yep, there we go. So Brave Bird doesn't do anything in the Venusaur, and he does Heat Wave. Should be able to take this, because Resist and Assault Vest. Should, as long as there's no burn, and as long as we connect Rock Slide. Yep, this should... Keyword is should kill the Charizard. Actually, it does not come anywhere close to killing the Charizard. So do I want to save this Malamar? I could go on to Gastrodon here, which I think I will. I'll just go straight on to Gastrodon. And then it's Brave Bird. The Charizard. Expecting the Venusaur to switch out. Let's do that. Let's do that. I assume, like I said, I assume Venusaur is going to switch out uh, knowing the Brave Bird's coming in, unless it's a Focus Sash Venusaur, which it could be. Uh, and then Charizard go for the Heat Wave to try and knock out these two Pokemon, which it would this turn. Uh, it looks like Venusaur is actually staying in, so may oh, he doesn't protect this turn because he already went for Protect. So I'm bringing in Gastrodon. I wonder what Venusaur went for then, because Charizard's going to get knocked out here. Which will work out. He might have Sludge Bomb Talonflame. Which, if he does, that'll be Sludge Bomb into Talonflame. Well, good play, good play. Takes out my Talonflame, which was his biggest problem for his Venusaur. Uh, I'm going to bring in my Malamar here. And we're not in a good position now. We needed Talonflame for the Venusaur, so he probably was Focus Sashed. 
seeing as how he just straight up uh, attacked my town flame. So he's probably expecting the uh, Brave Bird into Venusaur to live it with a Focus Sash and then kill Charizard. We do see the hip on top come in. Get the Intimidate off on these two. Uh, I'm expecting the hip on top to fake out the Malamar. And then like a Giga Drain or something. So I'm going to protect my Gastrodon. And I'll try, to, I'll try to attack the Venusaur, but we'll see what happens here. But yeah, I'm expecting the fake out into the Malamar to try and get a Giga Drain off on the Gastrodon. Or Grass Pledge, I guess. He actually doesn't uh, fake out. He just goes straight for the close combat, which I, yeah, it does knock me out. Unfortunately, that Psycho Cut would have brought the Venusaur down to the Focus Sash, but no cigar on that one. And we're gonna we're gonna be sitting here with the Gastrodon Aromatis, which is not gonna be good for good for us because that Venusaur is gonna be able to take out both these Pokemon here. I'm gonna try an Ice Beam the Venusaur, and we're going to Moon Blast him on top. Are we? I think the only way we have a chance of winning is if I protect with Gastrodon and Trick Room here. We have to get the double protect. Otherwise, we're pretty boned. Because Grass Pudge should just one-shot Gastrodon. He actually withdraws him on top, surprisingly enough. What does he bring in? Thunderous. Alright. Gastrodon doesn't get to protect, unfortunately. So this Grass Pudge should just knock him out. Yep. I mean, we have we have an Aromatisse sitting under Trick Room, which uh, has nothing for Venusaur and nothing for Thunderous, so an unfortunate first game here. But what are you going to do? And I'm just going to go for the run here. No reason to stall it out. We did end up losing this one, unfortunately, but again, this team isn't really made to go against... Uh, traditional teams like this one where they have heavily used Pokemon because we don't have heavily used Pokemon uh, Aromatisse is an okay Trick Room Setter I, I still think Cress is the best and obviously uh, what is he doing? okay I was going to say gee whiz what is, he, what is he thinking about over there? it might just be the Wi-Fi again slowing down it was good this morning but of course that recording failed on me. I need to get a new headset that doesn't uh, come unplugged all the time. Like, it stays plugged in, but it just doesn't want to work all the time. But we're going to do a second battle here. Hopefully we can pick up a win, because I think that will leave us even if we get a win and a loss in this episode, because I believe the first one was also a win and loss. And we're going to hit that challenge button. We're sitting at 1530, which is, for this team is not bad, I'm going to say. is not bad. And the, the mix of this team and my play style. Uh, so we got California, United States, 1502. Uh, ooh. We see a more heavily operating trick room here with Cress, Mawile, Heatron, uh, Empoleon, which I love seeing that Empoleon in here. I used Empoleon trick room once and it was pretty good. A Machamp and an Amoongus. Moongus is going to be a problem, but as long as we have our Malamar and get him powered up enough, we should be fine on that. Actually, Malamar is looking really good here, because we got uh, Night Slash for the Crest, Super Power for the Heatran and the Empoleon, and it's neutral to the uh, Mawile. We have Cycle Cut for Machamp and for Moongus, so I'm thinking Malamar is our best lead. I could also lead Hitmontop to get a fake out on something I don't want... Like, if uh, Moongus is out, I can fake it out and then cycle cut it. That kind of stuff. Would Gastrodon be worth bringing? I think possibly yes. Yes, Gastrodon actually looks really good here. And what about Steelix or Talonflame? Talonflame would be nice against Machamp and Amoongus. Steelix would be nice against Heatran, Empoleon, Mawile... I'm going to bring Steelix, just because we didn't last game. Oh, we'll see if that comes to bite me, because I didn't bring Talonflame. But he's got a Heatran of pretty much walls the Talonflame. Whereas, nothing super walls the Steelix, because we do have something that's neutral to every one of those Pokemon. 
So we're going to lead with him on top, Malamar. He leads Amoongus Machamp. So we can probably expect a dynamic punch onto uh, Malamar. Well, actually here, I can fake out the... Well, no. Let's Yeah, let's just go for what I was going to do. I'm going to Psycho Cut the Amoongus and... Oh, not faint. Fake it out as well. Just to stop it from spawning for one turn, because two Psycho Cuts should take care of it. As long as we live long enough to do such a thing. So we get the fake... It is a minus one Machamp too, so... We do outspeed it, so we're going to get that cycle cut off. It'll do almost enough to knock it out, and we see the dynamic punch from Machamp. Yeah, it doesn't even take me down to half. It does confuse, unfortunately. And Amoongus gets Black Sludge Recovery. Now, do we expect Amoongus to stay in? I don't know. I do not know. I'm going to go for cycle cut on Machamp this time. And let's close combat... No. Let's Psycho Cut the Amoongus and close combat the Machamp. Amoongus goes for the Rage Powder, so... We would end up Psycho Cutting him anyway if we break through this confusion that is. Please do, Malmar. Thank you, Psycho Cut, and that's going to kill off Amoongus. Very nice. So there goes Amoongus. Um, Machamp actually goes for the knockoff onto Hitmontop, interestingly enough. Uh, knocks off my Citrus Berry, and I get a close combat off on the Machamp. And we do see Hitmontop is the slowest thing on the field. I wonder if he even brought Cresselia? Uh, sometimes with Trick Room, people just don't bring their Trick Room stuff. Like me, I didn't bring my Trick Room. Uh, we actually see Mawile come in. A non-intimidating Mawile, too. In interesting. Now, do I want to save my Malamar? Well, let's see. He brought Mawile. So, that means he either brought Empoleon, he trying to crest in the back. I would like Malamar for all those things. Him on top, I wouldn't mind having either. And what Pokemon do we bring? Gastrodon and Steelix. I'm going to switch Gastrodon in for Malamar, expecting it to be attacked by one of these two and then we can also bring in Steelix because I'm thinking Mawile's going to play rough him on top for super effective damage Steelix will resist Gastrodon will come in take a either a knockoff or a dynamic punch which means Machamp will take Rocky Helmet damage and then we also have an Intimidate in the back for this Mawile and to get this Machamp down to minus two if he wants to stay in so we're going to see Mawile Mega Evolve. We see the Dynamic Punch into Steelix, actually. Uh, we take that fairly well for it being a super effective hit in non-Mega Steelix. And we do see Play Rough into Gastron, actually. So Mawile will take that Rocky Helmet damage. And I think here, I just Earth Power the Mawile and also Mega Evolve and Iron Head the Mawile. Uh, we could see Sucker Punch on the Gastrodon, uh, or just a straight up, a, or a Dynamic Punch from Machamp on the Gastrodon. But I'm going to get the Mega Evolution off here with Steelix, and hopefully one of these two hits hit Mawile. He's going to Sucker Punch on the Gastrodon, so that should knock me out, unfortunately, but he does take some Rocky Helmet damage, which is always nice. Gastrodon's going to faint, and do we see another Dynamic Punch from the Machamp? Yep, into Steelix, which should do less this time. Yeah, a little bit less. And we just have to break through this confusion and get a hit off. Please, Steelix. Thank you, Jesus. Iron Head. And that's neutral damage on the Mawile. Almost takes it out, actually. So now we can bring in Hitmontop. And this Machamp will be a minus two, so I'm not particularly afraid of it. Now, does Mawile protect here? I think it does. Uh, him on top, let's fake... Let's fake out the Machamp. I think we can just go for Earthquake here on Steelix. I mean, it'll hit my him on top, but I don't know that it'll do enough damage for me to be afraid of it. He does actually withdraw the Machamp into Empoleon. So not a bad... And he does protect the Mawile. 
I kind of expected that. I was going to faint, but what can you do? We'll just get some fake out damage off on the Sympoleon. And unless we hit ourselves in confusion, we actually snap out. So we're hitting the Sympoleon with a nice earthquake here. Unfortunately, we don't hit the Mawile, but what can you do? Empoleon is carrying leftovers here. So, what do we think about that? I think we close combat the Empoleon and protect with Steelix. Expecting like a Scald or something from this map, this uh, Empoleon. Now we'll see if Mawile outspeeds him on top. Because I don't think that's been determined yet. He actually Grass Knots, and he does outspeed our him on top, unfortunately. Taking down my poor little Hitmon top. Now, the question we have here. Yeah, I don't think Rock Slide will take out Mawile, unfortunately. I do not think that will happen. So, I think. Well, here with Melmar, I can just superpower the Empoleon. And Steelix, do we protect to predict the. Let's protect to predict a Sucker Punch from this Mawile into Steelix. He doesn't, so I wonder what, he probably went for play rough onto Malamar, unfortunately. Critical hit. We do get the plus one attack and defense, and this Mawile is minus one. I still don't think we will live a play rough if it connects. It does, unfortunately. Malamar, unfortunately, does not live the play rough, so... I think this will be a loss for us here, considering Machamp is in the back, and it outspeeds Steelix. Rather unfortunate. Rather, rather unfortunate. So if I just went for Iron Head there, we still wouldn't have had it because of Machamp. So I'm just going to Earthquake. And Dynamic Punch will not miss because of No Guard, and unfortunately that's going to that's gonna end our end our game there. So we did get two losses this this um this episode. Unfortunately the one where I got two wins got deleted. So thank my headset for that. But I think I'll change up a few of these guys. Um I wanna try it out with Cress and Hariyama instead of Aromatisse and Hip on top and see if that does help out. I think it will. Um it'll give us a little bit more coverage not a lot though but we'll see how that turns out but anyway guys thank you so much for joining me if you do have any suggestions how to uh, change up this team to make it a little bit better let me know in the comment section below and we will see you next time bye